I'm a big believer of knowing what your purpose is. It's actually one of my pet topics. I love to teach about knowing your purpose, why God created you and put you on this earth. But the more I teach about it, the more I uh, examine scripture, I find that there's something more important than knowing your purpose. And that is your ability to follow the instructions of God. Your ability to obey God is actually more important than knowing your purpose. Uh, there are people who knew the purpose very clearly. We can see Jesus and fulfill their purpose. We can see Paul, Moses. God was very specific with his, uh, with his purpose. A lot of people. But what enabled those people to fulfill purpose? It was not because they knew the purpose, but because they were able to follow hard and follow closely after God. In the same breath, I would like to say that some people who knew what their purposes were, but did not accomplish their purpose because they did not follow after God. Uh, one of those people is Samson. Samson from before conception, before he was born, uh, an angel of God came and told his purpose what his life would be about. But because he lived a little bit of a reckless life, that was aborted. He was not able to live out everything God wanted him to do. To be and i would say that that is the same story with judas iscariot god called him out to be his disciples to make uh, disciples but because he loved money you know above his love for god that derailed him so you can know your purpose very very well but if you do you're not obedient to god if you do not follow hard after god you will not uh, fulfill your purpose or you will not live out a life of purpose. We actually can see examples in the Bible of people who did not know their purpose. It was not clear. They did not have a purpose statement. But they actually lived a life that they did great things for God, fulfilled. I believe what was their purpose even when it was not known. A good example is Joseph. In the dream God gave Joseph, it was about a position. And purpose is not a position. God would told him about the future, that one day he will be, he, he will be in leadership and his father and mother and the siblings will bow to him. But that dream did not say exactly what is the purpose of Joseph. So we can safely say that Joseph did not know his purpose. But because he obeyed God, he did not compromise his standards. He was able to live out purpose and do great things for God. It's actually at the end of his life reflecting is what he, is, it's at that point that he got to know what God, what's, what the purpose of God for his life was. It was not from the very beginning. But because he consistently obeyed God and followed God, you know, no matter what happened to him, he was faithful to God. He was able to fulfill purpose. I meet a lot of people who this issue of them not knowing their purpose is frustrating. And I understand where they're coming from. But I'm pretty convinced that, you know, that will figure out itself, you know, as you go and you pursue it. But most importantly is your relationship with God. You need to be in a relationship with God where your heart yearns to submit to God and to follow God. That is more important than knowing your purpose. Thank you.